the main thing that's made the difference is, is the training that he's had. So we worked with uh, Dogs Helping Kids from, from a very early stage. They looked at him and they, they felt his temperance was, was right to be a, a dog representing the charity. And we've gone through lots of training with the charity. He's had to go through six assessments to say that he's okay to work with children and that he's got a certain level of temperance obedience and we kind of recognise, you know, dog stress signals and things so that we know that his well-being is, is, is just right for being in school. But it's one of the things that charity asked for. It's, you know, he has lots of roles in school, partly as um, a kind of a therapy dog, partly as uh, just about being about in the uh, in the environment, but also reading is a big part of, of what he does. So we, we, he's taught to listen to children read, so he comes and puts his, he puts his chin on their, on their lap and he'll look at the book and the child can read to them and the dog makes no judgement of their reading, so it's, it's very motivational for children. Um, but also flashcards is, 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 a, is a part of what he does as well and it just means that if the dog can read the flashcards and do what it says then, then it sends a message to children to say that if the dog can do it then, then it's good motivation for them to learn to read as well. All of our training is done positively so we use the clicker and we use treats uh, so it's, it's, it's a very very hands off method of training. Um, he learns to do the, the, the command first of all and then we introduce the sign and the command at the same time and then over time you take the command away it's just the sign and that's how he distinguishes between between different words over time he does four four words at the moment over time you know we will try and expand him to to two or three more words